a synchronous input okay so what is a synchronous input so input can be two type okay one is your synchronous input okay synchronous input ka matlab hai so far the inputs which are synchronized with current okay so input input with synchronous synchronous with clock okay the input which work with the clock okay like example so far whatever we have seen sr sr input sr okay d jk t these all inputs are synchronous input okay they will work with the clock now what is asynchronous input okay. asynchronous input okay so these inputs are also called override inputs override inputs okay so override input means it will override <coughs> the state of the flip flop depending on the uh, input value okay so these are not uh, synchronized with synchronized with your clock okay so you can say these are the inputs okay uh, which will which will dominate okay so so th so this 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 uh, inputs can bring uh, change the state according the according its values okay for example <coughs> So these are called over inputs okay so not synchronous synchronous with clock okay and they will override the condition override the condition okay. now for example any flip flop suppose i have a flip flop so generally we give inputs j k and there will be clock okay now along with these input okay sometime they give here inputs like pre okay and this is your clear so these inputs also come attached with the flip flop okay and these will these uh, inputs are used to override the override so this is a flip flop override the condition okay now what is a pre okay so pre means it will set the set the output value 1 okay whatever are the condition whatever the whatever is going on clock and inputs okay it will not it will not affect whatever it will say that will that condition will it will follow okay that means it will override the all the conditions okay for example pre means pre also calls it set either you say pre or set either it will be written pre or set okay so pre value is one pre value is one month automatically q will be set to one okay it will set to output uh, it will uh, set, set it will make the output set okay that is set set condition it will make output q equals to one okay similarly pre is zero okay so pre is zero means nothing pre now similarly clear clear is one okay so clear one so what make it will make the output to become zero it, it will reset the flip flop it will reset the flip flop reset the flip flop okay so sometime there will be only one input sometime both may be there okay but both we won't require okay when you say pre equals to one automatically clear is zero and you say clear one automatically pre is zero okay both cannot be pre both cannot be one both cannot be one means it cannot be a set state or reset state so if pre is one then clear has to be clear has to be zero if clear is one pre has to be zero okay so instead of putting two terminal two input together sometimes we put only one one terminal here okay pre and clear okay now sometimes instead of putting pre they put pre bar also so pre bar so when whenever pre bar is zero your q becomes one so it become opposite if it is a instead of pre there are pre bar okay so now if I, instead of putting pre bar you make it a second diagram where you put pre bar and clear bar this also can be there in the on the flip flop okay 
so when you put pre bar 0 q becomes 1 when you back clear bar 1 okay pre bar 0 means pre is 1 okay clear bar 1 means clear is your 0 so sorry uh, clear bar 0 okay then it makes clear 1 clear 1 this makes clear q makes makes q 0 okay so that's just the opposite of this one this things okay so now let me make a two table so this point is clear or not so basically i am trying to say these are your override inputs okay this will sir. override the condition they will decide which, sir, which whenever condition. whenever yeah. will pre bar will be zero then q will be one automatically one yes either pre if depends which terminal is there okay the terminal will decide <coughs> that will okay <coughs> now for example say i have pre input and clear input okay pre clear and then you have a flip flop response flip flop response okay if pre zero clear zero that means they are not affecting they are not affecting the your flip flop okay pre zero both are zero okay so both should be either one should be one okay so if both are zero that means flip flop will follow the clock that will be clocked operation so like earlier it was uh, clock will decide what which part will output so this is a clocked operation so clock will dominate okay now if i say this is zero one okay so you automatically your q will become zero now clear is one so clear says clear will reset this will not affect clear will reset so your q will become zero similarly if you have now one zero then your output q will become one pre will decide okay similarly if i use one one that cannot that is not used not one one is not used because At, at a time q cannot be one and q cannot be zero so that it is not used okay similarly if i write table in the form of pre bar pre bar and clear bar okay and i i see the response of flip flop okay so for example if i put now pre bar <coughs> clear bar will operate only when they are they are uh, they are uh, zero zero okay if i put one one okay so one one will not work okay or i put only zero zero okay zero zero so both cannot be used zero zero means pre one clear one both cannot so this data is not used okay if i write zero one okay that means pre zero that means q will become one pre or zero means pre is one to q bar become one okay similarly if i write one zero so that q will become zero okay and if i write both one one so that will be clock operation that means pre 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 zero clock clear is zero they are not operating so that will be your clock will dominate so clock will decide operation so it will be clocked operation okay now just look at this here i have made your uh, the output okay now let us see how the output will change so this is a negative triggering clock and your input values in so input values are not changing input values are one one okay whenever jk flip flop your j and k are one they will toggle with the with with clock okay they will toggle whenever clock will go down uh, falling edge they will they will talk at the state okay but now here we have this input also which are asynchronous with the clock and they will first dominate okay so first we have to see these these two parameters okay and these two parameter act when when your pre is zero pre is zero clear or zero or clear zero okay when pre is zero and clear is zero that these parts will dominate these will these portion will override 
okay pre one means nothing clear one means nothing when pre one clear one then clock will decide what is happening pre one clear one pre one clear one clock operation clock will decide okay when this is this is zero this will decide what should be the output when this is zero this will decide what is the output okay other conditions clock will decide clock will decide that means it will toggle whenever there is a falling edge now for example i am putting say initially my q is zero okay so take initially q is zero okay so initially clock is zero so obviously clock will not uh, uh, interfere here okay now this is this is here what this is pre one and this is clear one so they are also not affecting so it's zero zero now from this point this point this becomes your uh, zero so here whenever it becomes zero pre pre zero that will pre one that will set so it will make the output set okay now it will continue up to here up to until he this is one this will this is dominating this is dominating now up to b okay now what will happen after this point b pre also one clock also one okay so this will be all automatically clocked operation but here clock is not here clock is zero clock is zero so that means up to here up to here there will be no change condition so transition will, begin, transition will happen here so up to here no change condition that means now transition will happen here transition will happen here okay at this point is clear Yeah, the clear again. Here, pre is one and clock is also one. So pre one ka matlab pre pre one and clock one to clear one yes. ka matlab nahi na clock clock operation lagega na or clock to yahan pe zero hai yahan pe yahan tak to zero hi hai yahan tak zero hai tension yahi pe hoga ab yahan pe tension hoga now yahan pe input sir one one so clock will toggle so whatever is there now it becomes zero or it go to down zero okay. Now you have to see again what is happening here. Now again, it will do, pre will become zero here. So up to here, now transition will take place here again. Here, this this edge transition will take place. So this transition, this will transition take place. Okay, here again it will become up. This become up. Okay. Now it will go up to here. Up to this will this part will dominate. This part will dominate up to here. Okay. Now after this, you have to see this is one. This is one. This is one. So no, so not they will so clock operation, and clock will start from here. What clock will start from here? Before five comes here down here, this becoming zero. So up to here, this will zero. Now it will dominate. This 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 will dominate. So this is what this is your clear bar zero. That means clear one. So it will make it make it zero. Okay, and clock will go up to clear bar zero. Okay. Now once clear bar zero comes, this is one. This is one. So clock operation, clock operation will not come. It's called clock operation will come to seven only, and before seven, this is coming again, again coming here. So it is here, <coughs> here it is coming again. Here again it will dominate. Okay, it will dominate here. Up to here it will be like this. Okay, up to here it will be like this. This will be one. Okay, now we have already uh, uh, crossed the. Just we have already crossed the this one. Okay, so this is your. This one, okay. So this become up, okay. After becoming up, okay. So one minute. So this is little bit away from this seven, okay. This is little bit away from seven, okay. So this first will come, okay. So I'm coming here, no condition. So here now at seven, it become up. This is seven. Okay. This is seven, it will become up, okay. Now it will go. It will go up. Okay. Suddenly this found. They found this one, and they become down. Okay. And they go up to here like this. This. And then again one one. Whatever conditions. So this is your basically your this one one two, and this one. This is your output. Q. So basically, you have to see three things. Okay. You have to see pre clear first. If pre bar is there, clear bar is there, so you see where it is zero. Okay, both simultaneously cannot be zero. You cannot you cannot find any uh, variable where both will be zero. So you have to find where is pre is zero or clear bar is zero. There, whatever they decides, okay, the output will be according according to this. Okay, when these are one one, 
okay when these are one one then clock will decide whether the clock is there clock will decide according to inputs what will the output so that's that's it your free and clear so they are the override inputs they are dominating inputs okay any question any confusion okay so this is our flip flop always completed okay now we will see the application of flip flops Now put the heading shift registers. Okay. So what are shift registers? Okay. So basically your shift registers are cascade of flip flop. Cascade. Cascade of flip flops. Okay. So these are the circuits. So these are the logic circuits. These are logic circuits. Okay, which are used, which are used to store and transfer. The used to used for store. For store and transfer of data. Okay, so a flip flop. Okay, a flip flop. A flip flop can store one bit at a time. Can store one bit, one bit at a time. Okay, that means you are you can call flip flop is a flip flop is a flip flop is a one bit register, one bit register. Okay. Now, what do you exactly exactly mean by a register? Sir. Hmm. So this one bit you have written that that can so. Is uh, should be one, or it could be zero or one. Oh, zero or one, one bit. Okay. One, it can store one bit. Sir, yeah. so, starting. Me, what I write? Cascade of flip flops. Okay. okay, series of serial series of flip flop. Okay. Okay. So just give me one minute. Now, before we discuss register, okay, let me give you classification of registers. Okay, so register is basically what register which can store and transfer the data. Okay, so I classify a register. Okay, based on data movement direction. Okay, based on based on direction of data movement. Data को कैसे move कर रहे हैं? Okay, left से right भेज रहे हैं या right से left भेज रहे हैं? Okay, so accordingly we divide them shift right register. If they are sending the data to the right. Right register, or you call them shift left register. Okay, that means they can shift the data from right to left. Okay, and they can be also bidirectional register. They can do both both the work. Bidirectional register, bidirectional register. Okay, 
So this is the one type of classification. Other classification is based on input output mode based on based on input output mode input output mode okay what do you mean by input output mode how you are entering the data and how you are uh, taking the data out that is called serial in serial out data serial in serial out data serial is serial in serial out data out okay that is called siso serial in serial out okay other is your serial in in parallel out parallel out okay that means serially in and parallelly out okay then you have parallelly in means you have flip flop Either you're putting input data serially and taking serially out, okay? So it is store and shift the it can store the data and it can transfer the data. So data movement is what serial in serial out input output, or you get you are putting parallelly in and serially out or serial in parallelly out parallelly in or parallelly out, okay? Accordingly, they are variety of registers, okay? So other is your parallel in parallel in serial out. Okay, that is called PISO. Then you have parallel in parallel out. Parallel in parallel out. That is PIPO. And there is a universal register also which can perform anything. Universal, they can do serial in serial in serial out. Okay, they can do anything. Okay, so serial like your flip flop is like this. Okay, so if you're putting input serially and taking output serially out, that is your serial in serial out. Okay, you're putting serially, but output is taking you to parallel of this one, parallel of this one. Okay, then it will and there will serial in parallel out. Okay, now if you're putting uh, parallel input is putting parallelly. Okay, and taking output output you're taking serially that is PISO. Similarly, if you're putting parallel in and you're taking parallel out. Okay, that is called your P PIPO. Okay, and universal gate can do anything. Okay, so this is the basically your <coughs> classification. <coughs> now we'll mainly focus on this one, shift right and shift left, because your mainly questions are uh, formed on this uh, this type of register. So this type of <coughs> register are sufficient to you to dem demonstrate the working of uh, registers. Okay, so now let me give some problems, solve some problems. इसको इरेज कर दूं मैं सो विल डू फ्यू प्रॉब्लम्स व्हिच विल क्लियर द कांसेप्ट ऑफ रजिस्टर यस सर ये सीरियल इन सीरियल आउट जैसे मतलब समझ नहीं आया कि पैरेलली कैसे इनपुट देनी है वो बताएंगे ना अभी सीरियल इन के बता रहा हूं अभी बता रहा हूं अभी ठीक है ये जो क्लासिफिकेशन है now i am giving example of serial in serial out okay so i'm giving you four bit four bit serial in serial out serial out shift right register shift right registers shift right register okay so what do you mean the data will be Come serially, output will be also taken serially, and shift right register means the data movement of uh, the movement of data will be from left to right. So this is a four bit. So you need four four flip flops. So this is your four flip flop. Okay. Now let me let me give the name. Let's say I'm taking all the flip flops or D flip flop. You can take any flip flop, JK, anything. I am making out of D flip flop. Okay, so I have only one in, one input D zero or one. Okay, now say this is my QD. Okay, QD. This is QD bar. Okay, this is QD bar. Here this is QC. This is QC bar. This is Q uh, B, and this is QB bar. Output I am writing different different flip flop, different output. Okay, QA and QA bar. Okay, now what I'm doing the output of this one, 
output of this one i am connecting to input of others okay so i am connecting like this is serially okay and this is my output here okay and i'm here i'm giving input and they have there are a clock also clock can be anything positive triggering or negative triggering okay so let me call it a negative triggering clock is there to, to each flip flop that means it will work with the clock and all the all the flip flop have a same clock that means they are simultaneously clocked so this is my clock okay this connected to my each thing so so with the so one pulse or with, with one pulse they are, they are there because they are only one clock okay so whenever is a falling age okay each falling age each data will become active and your output will change okay so let us say in the starting here i have a q0 q here i the output is q0 they all are clear q0 q0 in the beginning they have q0 q0 okay now i want to put input okay and transfer the data okay so for example i am giving you here 1101 serially okay so that is this is coming serially in and coming serially out serially in serially out serially come serially out that's why it is like a serial in serial out and four bit means there are four bits okay i can i can send four maximum four bits here it can store four bit one two three four and also this can transfer the bit transfer the bit so this this bit can go from here to here here to here here to here that's why they are shift register okay the shift register has to work okay store and transfer data okay store and transfer store and transfer okay now let's see let us what happens okay so now i have a qd i have q qc is very simple qb i have qa which decide the all the things okay now suppose this data if i take parallelly then it will be serially serially in parallelly out okay so now suppose we have a clock so in, initially clock is not there and i know initial condition is 0 0 0 so they are all 0 0 0 0 0 0 okay now my first clock is coming first clock is coming that means first this this is coming this 2 3 okay this first is coming so automatically whenever first first will come data becomes active so here here one become active here so now whenever data comes so here so basically output of this was here it is here output this was this is here and output of this is here so this is the input of this one okay now my clock comes okay so clock sees my input is one so whenever d is one d is one d is one d is one equal to s equals to one r equals to zero then output is q is equals to one so now my qd becomes one qd becomes one okay so qd become one of first clock is iska input d zero hai to iska iska output ye reset set ho jayegi iska zero ho jayega ye zero ho jayega ye zero ho jayega zero ho jayega kyunki inke inke akra input zero zero hai okay now for next stage next stage the input of this is one okay and iska to zero hi to zero hi jayega zero hi jayega input okay aur iska kya aa jayega aapki 110 this is the this is the stage of input okay now when ha sir ek minute dobara bata do ye bhi shuru se batao sir nahi sir ye qd jab 1 aaya wo first to to 1 aa gaya iska output ab iska iska output iska input ban gaya iska output iska input ban gaya iska bhi zero aaya tha aur ye iska output iska input ban gaya theek hai aur ye to bahar bahar connected hi hai wah bahar hi hai ab second clock kya dekhegi second clock iska input kya dekhegi zero सेकंड क्लॉक के सेकंड क्लॉक जब आएगी क्लॉक देखनी है या पीछे से डिजिट तो क्लॉक जो वो डिजिट तो तभी एक्टिव होगा जब क्लॉक आएगा ना सर तब जब फर्स्ट को फर्स्ट में d1 है तो q d हमारा 1 है हां पहले 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 केस में हमारा 1 था मैं वापस बना देता हूं तुम सुनते नहीं हो ना इनिशियली दिस इज माय कंडीशन ओके तो मेरा पहला जो डेटा इस पे 1 लगा हुआ है इसके ऊपर क्या जीरो लगा हुआ है इनिशियली जीरो है इनिशियली जीरो है ना ये भी जीरो है और ये भी जीरो है ये भी इनिशियल सब जीरो जीरो है आउटपुट अब मेरा वन लगा हुआ है अब जैसे क्लॉक आएगी तो वन एक्टिव हो जाएगा यस सर वन एक्टिव होते ही ये क्या हो जाएगा वन वन ये वन हो गया और ये क्या हो जाएगा सर ये भी वन ही होगा ना ये क्यों यहाँ पे जीरो लगा हुआ है ना इसका वन का लगा हुआ है 
सर ये इनपुट जाएगी नहीं आगे अभी तो लगा वो तो बाद में जाएगी ना अभी तो अभी तो ये लगा इस पे लगा हुआ क्या है वो तो अभी मतलब एक टाइम पे एक ही हाँ, एक, एक टाइम पे एक ही काम होगा ओके सर क्लॉक तो साइमटेनियस है ना थोड़ी की यहाँ लगाया था यहाँ आके यहाँ आके यहाँ आके चला गया ये तो वन तो इसपे लगा इसपे तो जीरो लगा ठीक है सर यही कंफ्यूजन ओके ठीक है तो जीरो 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 ओके नाउ क्लॉक टू कम्स ओके सो क्लॉक टू कम्स दिस इज जीरो दिस बिकम्स दिस वन कम्स हियर हियर यहाँ पे जीरो जीरो ही है ओके इधर जीरो ही है जो भी है ओके ना वॉट एपन्स दिस जीरो विल एक्ट हियर so you got qd0 this one will shifting here this one zero will shift here this zero will shift here that's it abhi ab piche ka dekh lo piche ka bas aur ye bar ho jayega input le lo tum third clock mein kya ho jayega third clock mein now i'm not repeating i now you can do it yourself okay third mein kya ho jayega third mein third ke liye third mein kya hai aapka ye yahan pe one ho jayega ye one ho jayega aur ye wala iska input hai to ye aa jayega iska input ye hai to ye yahan aa jayega iska input ye hai iska input ye hai to ye yahan aa jayega ओके नाउ फोर्थ क्लॉक पे क्या होगा फोर्थ क्लॉक पे अगेन डी पे वन आ जाएगा इसका इनपुट ये तो ये यहाँ आ जाएगा इसका इनपुट ये तो यहाँ आ जाएगा और इसका इसका इनपुट ये तो ये यहाँ आ जाएगा तो इनिशियली वी स्टार्टेड विथ वन वन जीरो वन ओके नाउ दिस वन वन जीरो वन स्टोर इन दिस इन दिस एज ए फाइनल स्टेज फाइनल स्टेज बट यू गेट वन दिस वन यू गेट वन हीयर you get zero here you get one here okay so all the bit are now stored in the flip flops okay so we are storing the bit and we are transferring the bit that is your call and sir, because third wale mein to 0010 hoga na sir kahan pe third wale case mein kya hoga sir jaise third wale mein to ha to pehle main third third wale mein third wale mein one aaya one aaya idhar so upar mein to c ke paas one tha na sir to b ke paas one jayega na bas kya अरे भी थर्ड में क्या है थर्ड क्लॉक में क्या है यहाँ पे तो वन है ना यस सर तो ये ये वन या ये ये यहाँ आ गया थर्ड क्लॉक में ओके oh, okay, okay. और ये इसका ये इधर आ गया अब शिफ्ट हो जाएगा ठीक है खुद खुद करके देखो अपने आप करके देखो तो समझ में आएगा ओके सो फाइनली व्हाट विल एपन दिस वन वन जीरो वन विल बी स्टोर इन द फ्लिप फ्लॉप एंड बिकॉज डाटा मूवमेंट इज इन राइट साइड दैट इज कॉल्ड शिफ्ट राइट रजिस्टर ओके तो सर ये फोर्थ में जो वन हमने दिया लास्ट में तो इसमें जो इससे नेक्स्ट वाले डिजिट जीरो नहीं हो जाएगी कि कौन सी वाली टाइम पे अभी जो क्यूसी क्यूसी तुम अपने आप करके देखो ना एक बार आ रहा है कि नहीं आ रहा है भैया हमारे पास मैं वापस डिपिट कर देता हूँ इनिशियली सब जीरो जीरो है जीरो जीरो है सो आई एम राइटिंग जीरो 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 नाउ क्लॉक वन इज कमिंग क्लॉक वन इज कमिंग तो दिस बिकम वन ओके and this this is this is given zero this remain zero this zero remain this one become okay here is one okay Th third clock pe now when you this this is used now second clock is coming this is seeing zero okay so this become zero this is seeing one to one a gaya this is seeing zero so zero a gaya okay this is seeing zero to zero a gaya okay third mein kya ho gaya third is seeing this is as a one to yahan pe kya a gaya one a gaya third pe okay and qc seeing what QC, QC पे क्या था ये वन था क्या जीरो लिखा हुआ हाँ, आएगा वन वन सेकेंड में आएगा आपका सॉरी मैंने उल्टा लिखा है ना Q Q D Q D Q B Q C सो वन 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 जीरो 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 ओके लेट मी लेट मी चेक अगेन वापस करने का कोशिश करना करना पड़ेगा ये बात लिखा हुआ ही रहता है ओके सो वन वन जीरो 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 वन ओके नाउ क्लॉक इज कमिंग व्हाट इज द डिजिट डिजिट इज वन वन जीरो जीरो वन वन जीरो जीरो वन वन जीरो वन अब तुम एक बार देखो बार बार गर्म कराऊ मुझे ठीक है सो इनिशियली देर जीरो 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 ओके नाउ क्लॉक इज कमिंग क्लॉक इज सींग इसका इनपुट वन देख रहा है इस पर वन आ गया इसका इनपुट जीरो है इसका इसका इनपुट जीरो है इसका इनपुट जीरो है ओके चारों का तो ये यहाँ पे वन आ गया क्यू ए वन आ गया ये जीरो 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 ओके तो नेक्स्ट स्टेज के बाद में यहाँ पे वन है और बाकी पे जीरो 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 है ठीक है ना सेकेंड क्लॉक आ रही है इसका इनपुट जीरो देख रही है सेकेंड क्लॉक में यहाँ पे जीरो आ जाएगा ओके क्योंकि जीरो देख रही है तो इसका क्यू डी जीरो आ जाएगा 
ओके यहाँ ये वन आ जाएगा ये जीरो यहाँ पे जीरो जीरो रहेगा तो क्यू सी आपको क्या हो जाएगा वन हो जाएगा ये जीरो जीरो रहेगा ओके थर्ड पे क्या होगा थर्ड पे अब थर्ड पे ये इसका वन देख रहा है ओके तो क्यू डी आपका वन हो जाएगा ओके क्यू क्यू सी आपका जीरो देख रहा था तो जीरो जीरो रहेगा और ये क्यू डी आपका इसका वन देख रहा था तो ये वन आ जाएगा क्यू बी और ये सी आपका जीरो देख रहा था जीरो आ जाएगा ओके ना नेक्स्ट स्टेज पे अब क्या हो जाएगा ये इसको देख रहा है फोर्थ पे क्या हो जाएगा फोर्थ पे आपने वन भेजा है वन और इसका इसका इनपुट ये है तो ये वन इसका इनपुट है तो ये वन इसका इनपुट ये तो वन ये तो आएगा पहले ये था क्या सर ये तो था पहले हाँ तो फिर क्या है जीरो जीरो वन जीरो जीरो वन करेक्ट था वन जीरो वन जीरो वन वन जीरो वन ठीक है तो दिस इज योर शिफ्ट शिफ्ट राइट रजिस्टर ओके नाउ लेट मी डू शिफ्ट लेफ्ट रजिस्टर सीरियल इन सीरियल आउट शिफ्ट लेफ्ट रजिस्टर ओके क्लॉक आने से पहले आपको देखना कि क्या इनपुट है बस इतना देखना खाली ना शिफ्ट लेफ्ट में क्या करेंगे यू हैव पुटिंग आई एम पुटिंग द इनपुट फ्रॉम हियर वन वन जीरो वन ओके दिस इज माई क्यू डी दिस इज माई क्यू सी दिस इज माई क्यू बी से दिस इज माई क्यू एके सो दिस बिकम क्यू डी बार सो इनपुट शुड कम फ्रॉम हाँ हाँ उल्टा बनाएंगे आपको सर हम लोग भी क्यों यूज कर रहा है कोई भी कर सकते हैं यू कैन फ्लिप जेके फ्लिप एनी एनीथिंग यू कैन यूज ओके अभी समझाने के लिए आसान है तो उसके लिए यूज करना है सो नाउ से क्यू डी दिस इज डी डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप ओके सो दिस इज क्यू सी फ्लिप फ्लॉप नाउ दिस इज क्यू बी फ्लिप फ्लॉप एंड दिस इज माई क्यू ए फ्लिप फ्लॉप ओके ये इनपुट इज डी इनपुट इज डी इनपुट इज डी इनपुट इज डी इज क्यू डी बार क्यू सी बार क्यू बी बार क्यू ए बार एवरीबडी हैज एवरी हैज क्लॉक ओके सो क्लॉक लेट मी पुट क्लॉक हेयर ओके क्लॉक हेयर क्लॉक इज कॉमन क्लॉक इज कॉमन तो साइमिल्टी ट्रांसफर होगा एक ही बार में सबका एंड नाउ एंड इनपुट गिविंग इनिशियली एवरीथिंग इज जीरो 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 सो यू कैन मेक अ टेबल ओके क्यू डी क्यू सी क्यू बी क्यू ए ओके एंड देन हियर यू हैव क्लॉक clock so initially clock is zero so you have a zero 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 okay now you have to see when first clock comes what are the inputs so this is 1 101 okay so input of a is what 1 input of b is 0 input of c is 0 input of d is 0 okay so this is only k a is input is 1 so one come here all become 0 0 0 because their input is 0 okay now if a second thing second pulse second pulse now q a this q a is 1 that and it is the input of b so iska input 1 hai aur aur iska input kya aa raha hai abhi second time pe 1 hi aa raha hai to yahan pe to 1 hi jayega और इसका इनपुट ये है तो ये यहाँ आ जाएगा इसका इनपुट है ये यहाँ आ जाएगा इसका इनपुट है ये यहाँ आ जाएगा ओके ना थर्ड पल्स के लिए देखो थर्ड पल्स के लिए क्या हो रहा है थर्ड पल्स में मैं जीरो भेज रहा हूँ इस पर जीरो भेज रहा हूँ तो ये ये जीरो हो जाएगा इसका आउटपुट जीरो हो जाएगा जीरो और इसका इनपुट ये था तो ये यहाँ आ जाएगा इसका इनपुट ये था तो ये यहाँ आ जाएगा इसका इनपुट ये था तो ये यहाँ आ जाएगा और फोर्थ पल्स में फिर फिर क्या भेज रहा हूँ फोर्थ प्लस में अगेन वन आ रहा है ये वन देख रहा है तो इसका तो ये वन लगेगा तो यहाँ वन आएगा तो क्यू ए पे वन आएगा और इसका इनपुट जीरो था तो यहाँ जीरो आएगा इसका इनपुट ये वन इसका इनपुट है तो ये वन यहाँ आ जाएगा सो वन वन जीरो फोर्थ प्लस ओके सो दिस इज योर शिफ्ट राइट रजिस्टर दिस इज कॉल्ड शिफ्ट राइट रजिस्टर शिफ्ट लेफ्ट 
शिफ्ट लेफ्ट रजिस्टर अच्छा वन वन जीरो वन को लेफ्ट से ऑपरेट करना पड़ेगा ना यहाँ से यहीं से कर रहा हूँ ना मैं राइट से कर रहा हूँ ना ऑपरेट सर डिजिट को वन वन जीरो को वन वन जीरो वन को पहले डबल जीरो वन ओके मैं 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 ऐसे ही बुट कर रहा हूँ चाहो तो वो तो लिखा है वो चाहो तो यहाँ से भी यहाँ से भी इसको पहले इसको बाद में इसको 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 वो भी कर सकते हो ठीक है मैं भी इसे करने भी सेम है ना नहीं वो तो वो तो जो जो डिजिट करोगे वही आएगा अगर यहाँ करोगे तो वन जीरो वन वन जाएगा अंदर ओके सर ओके ओके मैं बोल रहा हूँ कि ऐसे ऐसे डालो राइट वो चेंज जाएगा ऑब्वियसली वो तो बताया वो तो क्वेश्चन में दे रखा होगा किसको भी एक तो है कि राइट से राइट से इनपुट करो डिजिट को कैसे डालो वो भी तो वो तो बताया गया ना डायरेक्शन अभी तो मैंने डायरेक्शन दे दिया ना ऐसे ऐसे डालो इसको पहले डालो सेकंड डालो ऐसे मैंने बता दिया है यस सर क्वेश्चन में दिया होगा यस सर हां दे रखा होगा वो तो दे रखा होगा ठीक है दोनों कंफ्यूज मत करो ये इनपुट में बोलो लेफ्ट से इस सिस्टम में जा रहा है मतलब राइट से अब इस पे बहुत अच्छे अच्छे क्वेश्चन बनते हैं सिंपल क्वेश्चन बनते हैं लेकिन बहुत ब्यूटीफुल क्वेश्चंस बनते हैं ओके मैं एक पहला सिंपल क्वेश्चन दे रहा हूं आपको तो आपको मुझे बताना है यू हैव ए शिफ्ट रजिस्टर ओके जिस पे जीरो स्टोर है वन स्टोर है वन स्टोर है जीरो स्टोर है क्यू नॉट क्यू वन क्यू टू क्यू थ्री ओके ये लगे ये बिट्स लगे हुए हैं यहाँ पर ओके नाउ क्या होता है कि यू ब्रिंग ए क्लॉक ओके यू ब्रिंग ए क्लॉक हेयर जो सब पे कनेक्टेड है एंड देन यू व्हाट यू डू यू कनेक्ट दिस क्यू टू एंड क्यू थ्री क्यू टू एंड क्यू थ्री विथ दिस वन जीरो टू टू क्यू थ्री का जो रिजल्टेंट आ रहा है दैट यू आर फॉर्मिंग एक्सोर गेट एक्सोर गेट कैसे बनाते हैं यू लाइक दिस ओके दिस एक्सोर गेट एंड लीज आता है एक्सोर गेट इनपुट और ये इसका जो आउटपुट आ रहा है वो यहाँ पे आ रहा है दिस योर एक्सोर गेट ओके एंड यूर साइमेंटली अप्लाइंग क्लॉक क्लॉक लगी हुई है सब पे क्लॉक लगी हुई है सब पे ओके नाउ दिस आस्किंग आफ्टर थ्री क्लॉक वाट विल द स्टेट आफ्टर थ्री क्लॉक After थ्री clock, what will be the state? Okay, so this is the initial state. So you have Q zero, Q zero, Q one, Q two, and Q three. Okay, and here you have a clock. Initially, clock is zero. and you have you have a uh, uh, state 0110 okay so that means this is one coming here this zero is coming here 101 then the output of xor is one okay now this one is ready here one is one is ready here so this is the input of this is one input of this is zero input this is one input of this zero is one okay so that means input of q0 is one now for first first for first clock okay for first clock the input of this one is 1 okay input of q1 is 0 input of q2 is 1 input of q3 is 1 okay so tell me what will happen so input of q0 is 1 for clock 1 so this become 1 so you get 1 here iska input 0 hai to yahan 0 0 aa jayega iska input 1 hai to ye 1 aa jayega iska input 1 hai to ye 1 aa jayega this after clock 1 okay now clock 2 clock 2 takes now this become what this become my 1 0 1 1 okay now this 1 1 goes here okay so automatically output output become zero okay to iska ye jo input ho jayega zero the baki inka pata hi hai okay zero okay now clock second second sees this is input is zero okay so one input is zero this become zero इसका इनपुट ये तो यहाँ आ जाएगा इसका इनपुट ये तो यहाँ आ जाएगा इसका इनपुट ये तो यहाँ यहाँ आ जाएगा ओके सो यू बिकम जीरो वन जीरो सो यू बिकम नाउ जीरो वन जीरो वन ओके एंड दिस अगेन जीरो वन अगेन गोस वन ईयर एंड वन गोस ईयर ओके 
so now again you are coming third clock third pulse is coming third pulse q not will be become one the q1 input is zero is become zero this is input is one become one this input is becomes zero okay so after three clock your state will be one zero one zero that is answer tell me if in doubt you 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 do it for yourself then only understand radhika is clear yes sir yes sir okay clear yes. so i'll give one more problem that you need to do and tell me the answer okay i will not tell you with the answer i will give you five minutes time Okay, so now I'm giving you problem. You have a two, four flip flop. Okay, I'm calling by A, B, C, D. Okay, and their output, their state is one one. This is initial state one one zero. Here we have clock simultaneously attached. Okay, and now I'm connect connecting A and D. Okay, as the XOR gate input, this XOR gate input, and this is coming to A. Okay, so initially you have one one zero. Okay, so he's saying number of number of clocks required, number of clocks required to require a state to become a state to become one 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 one. Okay, well, this is the initial state. Now I want final state should be one 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 one. It will happen after how many clocks? Okay, do it. Sir, it first to zero, sir. First, 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 first is one. First state is this one. Initially, okay. when clock is zero, this clock zero. Your A, B, C, D. They are one one zero one. Okay. Now, after how many clocks, this will become one 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 one. Okay, apply clocks each time. Before applying clocks, see the input of each. What is the input in the beginning of each each flip flop? And tell me the answer. Okay, so let us start. पहले किसी का आता हो बता देना. Okay, मैं मैं start कर रहा हूँ. So A and D are connected. So in the beginning you have one one. That means in the beginning this is zero. so a is input is zero in the beginning so clock will come okay this zero will come here 
this one will come here this one will come here this zero will come here for second second thing you have a and d a zero d zero wherever zero zero xor gate is what zero so again you have a zero second clock it will be zero okay for this is also zero this is one no check it again now i am giving 10 10 For ninth, you have again one here. This one comes here. This one comes here. This zero comes here. For tenth, okay, again this one comes here. One comes here. One comes here. One comes here. Okay, so you need total you require ten pulses. Okay, ten clock pulses. Ten clock pulses. This output will become one, one, one. Okay, those are simple questions. They come. They are not difficult questions. Okay. now what is the application of register okay so the application registers are mainly ring counter okay there's two applications we will discuss uh, ring counter and twist, twisted ring counter okay so so before we start uh, is application okay we have, we have to understand what is the counter okay and counter we will start from next class okay so I like to stop here because if we start counter, it will require more half an hour more. So, just stop here. If you have any question, please you can ask. Or if you allow me, okay, at least I can give the introduction of counters. Okay, so let me give the introduction of counter. Then tomorrow we'll start counters. Counters. no counters okay no counter means which pulse counts the pulse pulses okay which is counts counts the pulses okay count the pulses so it can count the pulses how many pulses are there okay so once it it can count the pulses And if a time period of time period of one pulse is given, okay, it can also measure the total time period. That means it can measure the frequency, okay. It can measure the frequency of pulse also. Count up. It can count the pulses means it can measure the frequency of measure the frequency of pulse. Measure the frequency of pulse. Okay. Now. Counter means how many state it can count. Okay, so basically, if there is a n bit counter, a n bit counter has total two and two power n states. Okay, so that means if you have three bit counter, you have three bit counter, it can it has a total two power three eight states. Two power three that is equals to eight states. Okay, that means it can count from zero to seven, or or there can be eight state. Let me say eight state. Okay, now if there is a uh, four bit counter, it can count up to sixteen states. Okay, now n bit count n bit counter has a total two power n states. Okay, that thing you have to remember. One number point number one. So second number, second number is what is mod and counter, mod and counter. Okay, and one more thing here. 
if you so uh, if you n bit counter okay so in order to count n bit you need n flip flop okay so n bit counter n bit counter require requires n flip flops jitna bit hoga utna aapko flip flops ki zarurat padegi us usko count karne ke liye okay so now n bit has a n at one instead now what is mod and counter mod and counter is a counter which has which has n states okay which is n state for example if i say mod 8 so it will be having eight states same like a three bit counter same like a three bit counter okay and it requires how many it requires three flip flop okay it requires three flip flop requires three flip flops okay similarly mod 16 count mod 16 counters okay have 16 states okay that means it's it is equal equivalent to four bit counter four bit counter it requires requires four flip flops okay now for example if if i ever say mod five counter okay suppose if i have a mod five counter mod five counter okay so it has a five states okay now when it is a five state okay so how many flip flop it requires can anyone tell me how many minimum flip flops are required three three very good okay now because it is a mod five so it has a five state but if you take two bit counter it can it has maximum four four states okay so you know if you to count mod five also minimum minimum flip flop requires minimum flip flops required will be your three okay similarly if i say i have a mod 10 counter okay which has a 10 states how many flip flop it requires minimum flip flop requires four in flip flops required is four okay because with three you can achieve only eight state okay four you can achieve achieve 16 state so that means more 10 counter require four four flip flops okay so now i give one example just give me a second sir four kaise four kitni state total state kitni hai sir 10 पड़ेगा क्वेश्चन करेंगे ना समझ में जाएगा इसके इसके बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन करेंगे हम लोग सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक यही है आपके पूरा डिजिटल में ओके सो काउंटर क्या है काउंटर इज बेसिकली टू टाइप वन इज कॉल्ड रिपल काउंटर ओके एंड व्हिच इज आल्सो कॉल्ड ए सिंक्रोनस काउंटर ए सिंक्रोनस काउंटर okay while well, this is your other is your synchronous counter synchronous counter okay ripple counters are basically slower counter they are very slow 
गैस स्लोअर ओके एंड दीज आर फास्टर सिंकोनस कॉन्ट्रास्ट फास्टर ओके सिंकोनस रिपल काउंटर में क्या होता है जैसे मेरे पास में एक आउटपुट है ओके जो मेरा आउटपुट है सपोज कोई भी मैंने इनपुट दिया मेरा आउटपुट क्यों दिया या ये जो एक का जो आउटपुट है वो दूसरे दूसरे के लिए क्लॉक बन जाएगा ओके रिपल पे क्या हो गया ओके आउटपुट आउटपुट ऑफ वन आउटपुट आउटपुट ऑफ वन फ्लिप फ्लॉप बिकम्स क्लॉक फॉर नेक्स्ट फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स ओके तो जिसे जिसे इसका आउटपुट है इसके लिए क्लॉक बन जाएगा इसका जो आउटपुट है वो इसके लिए क्लॉक बन जाएगा ओके okay? या तो आउटपुट क्लॉक बन जाएगा या फिर क्या हो जाएगा जो इसको इन्वर्टेड आउटपुट है वो क्लॉक बन जाएगा तो ये क्या इस तरह इस तरह से करेक्टेड होंगे रिपल काउंटर ना रिपल काउंटर आर स्लोअर बिकॉज हर फ्लिप फ्लॉप का कुछ डिले टाइम होता है तो क्या है टोटल डिले टाइम बहुत ज्यादा है हर 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 फ्लिप फ्लॉप का डिले टाइम एड हो जाएगा एड हो जाएगा एड हो जाएगा दस फाइव दे आर स्लोअर ओके विल डिस्कस दिस इन डिटेल ओके वेल वाट हैपन्स टू दिस यूर दिस सिंकोनस काउंटर सिंकोनस काउंटर में क्या होता है सबकी जो क्लॉक होती है सबकी जो क्लॉक होती है दे आर कनेक्टेड लाइक दिस दे आर कनेक्टेड विद दिस वन सिंगल क्लॉक सो ऑल द फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स जस्ट नाउ वॉट वी आर सीन इन द केस ऑफ रजिस्टर्स ओके ऑल द फ्लिप फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स आर साइमल्टेनियसली कनेक्टेड विद वन क्लॉक ओके सो यू कैन राइट हियर डिफरेंस ऑल द फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स ऑल द फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स आर simultaneously simultaneously connected okay with one clock with with single clock okay. with single clock okay that means they all are synchronized so they all are synchronized okay so that means only delay of one flip flop is added so they they are become they are faster okay now ripple counter first we first we will discuss ripple counter okay so let me do it tomorrow okay we will not able to finish today so ripple counter will start tomorrow we will do it tomorrow okay so i am stopping here thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir